Priya, meringues are the way to your heart with raspberries and cream on top. Correct. To me, it's cheesecake. You put a slab of cheesecake in front of me and I'm going to go all gooey and mushy and just the stars and those love hearts, all those lovely things. Wow, a slab. Slab of cheesecake. Okay. Now I'm going to show you a really quick and easy cheesecake that you can put together in a few minutes and I'm using the Magi Mix which is going to make things really easily. This little baby here does the magic for you. It's that easy. Wonderful. In goes some biscuits. I use digestives, the oat biscuits, whatever you've got. Any biscuit works for this. I've even made it with Oreo biscuits or chocolate biscuits or anything you wow, make. just so many biscuits. <laughs> oh, no, I love biscuits. In goes some butter. You can melt the butter as well if you want but I just throw it in like this. Make sure it's at room temperature mm -hmm. and it will wheels up nice and gently. And to sweeten this up, just in case that the biscuits don't have enough sugar in them, I put some more in. And as you can see, it's that raw sugar. Now all I need to do, Priya, is pop this little lid on the top here, mm -hmm. lock it in place and it's ready to go. And while this is whizzing around and doing all the hard work of this kitchen, I'm going to get you to crack those five eggs there and then do. we'll show you how to put the whole thing together. Ready for this one. Okay, Priya, we're nice. ready to go. Now, just grab the base in. You can see I've got a spring form tin, really easy. You just release it at the end, and it's a really simple way of making a cake and getting out of the cake tin, which is always a problem. A pro tip, I like it. Now, I always take the blade out first because the blade is very, very sharp. So I take it away, make sure it's clean, and then push it over there. And then I know that I can mm. put my rubber spatula in there without tearing the spatula apart. I love the base of a cheesecake, Richo. And I feel like cheesecake is often too complex for me, so I like that this is, yeah. Do you want to have a little taste? Have yeah, a taste of the base. Okay, good. Okay. It's always good to taste as you go along. What do you think? Yeah, beautiful. You know Watch it. those biscuits. <laughs> exactly. And the butter and the sugar. You know if it tastes good like that, it's going to be fantastic it's when you put it together. It's going to be a cracker, yeah. All right, I've got this ricotta cheese here and I'll just pop this straight in. Yes. Now with the ricotta, I'm just busting it up into four pieces so it goes in here nice and neatly. And you can see with a spatula, easy to do, it goes in there nice and easily. Wonderful. Here we go. Eggs. Five cracked eggs and they're beautifully cracked eggs. In That's they go, okay. straight on top of it. And some cream cheese. Ah. Oh, that's what that is. I was wondering what that log of deliciousness was. I love the cream cheese. It just makes it so much creamier. I know it's lovely. the same word, but it, the ricotta cheese is lovely, but the cream cheese just makes it that much more... Oh, I know what to get you for your birthday, exactly. Richard, a thesaurus. A big, exactly, a thesaurus. Uh, I've got some sugar there, if you can hand that over. Yes. A little bit of lemon zest in there to make it even more delicious. Pop that over here. Sugar goes in and then it's nearly off we go. But before we get started with that, mm. I'm going to show you what I want you to do with the yes. base here because you love the base so much. Mm. Just with this rubber spatula here, I just want you to move it round mm. and push it down nice and gently. And I want you to get the crumbs all the way into the side there. I feel like I can do it, Richo. Oh, there you go. Well, just, I'm just showing you exactly how I want it done because you know how precise I am about cheesecake because it's all about my emotional well-being. That's what we're talking about. So I'm going to pop this into place here, press the button while you're doing that. This machine is going to do all the magic for me and whiz it around and we'll show you how to finish this one off. There you go, Priya. Nice. So far this is very achievable for me, Richo. It's all about being simple and putting things together really quickly and no effort at all. I like it. As you can see, I barely raised the sweat. Look how smooth and mm. creamy that is. Mm. And ricotta doesn't usually come out mm. as smooth as this, but a little bit of cream cheese is what brings it all together. Nice. I always make sure I leave a little bit on there to, uh, to taste while it's all cooking. Go on. Perfect, thank you. Have a taste of that. The ricotta cheese really lightens it up. Instead mm. of that heavy cream cheese in there, it makes it really, really that delicious. That is beautiful. And I can see you're probably going to put these berries through it, so it's going to be quite light, exactly. but creamy. Oh, exactly. love it. Now, drop the raspberries straight okay. in. Three punnets of raspberries. Now, if you didn't have fresh raspberries like these, because these are actually at peak condition, mm. you could use frozen berries as well, which are also nice. really available, and you can get them all year round. These are just beautiful raspberries. They are they? plump, delicious, juicy. Oh. And the thing with these raspberries, mm. I'm just going to fold them through 
really gently like yes. this so I don't break them up. And the raspberries will sort of Ooh. bleed into yes. that cream, cheese, ricotta mixture. You liking that? I am. I'm salivating it's, slightly. It's almost mesmerising. I'm doing it this is. very slowly. It's almost like taunting you. I know. All right. Now, I'll just grab this here. If you slide that over, mm. I'll put this mixture into the bottom. Now, I've got quite a bit of mixture here for this size cheesecake tin. Mm. So what I want it to do is to come right up the sides and sit really, really high. I like the baking paper, so this is to support it. Exactly, because okay. it will rise up the sides of it. The baking paper, it stops it from sticking to the outside, but as the cheesecake puffs up, because it does puff up in the uh, in the oven, it'll help to keep it contained so you don't have it blobbing all over okay. the side. You know, like a muffin top, that sort of thing. Okay. Exactly. Okay. And around, I'll spoon that around mm. so it's nice and smooth. You can see all those raspberries in there. This will go into the oven about 40 minutes or so at mm. 160 degrees Celsius. I'll put this in the oven Leave and you here. can tidy this up, Perfect. I'm sure. Here we go. Once the cheesecake has cooled down, it's just a matter of flicking the little switch here and you just sort of wiggle that off there so like that. Easy. Oh, I like that. Look, I love the berries. They've bled through slightly. It's beautiful. It is. It mm. is. I love cheesecake and it's one of my favourite cakes in the entire world. They can have so many different types of cakes, but nothing beats a well-made, simple cheesecake. Now, I'm just going to cut this straight in half here like that and I reckon I'll get the... Nice little... Oh, oh, the biscuit base. Did you hear oh, it? Base. That's oh, all it's, wow. that's what it's all about. Now, if you're going to portion up a cake, what we would do is cut it into quarters and then quarters and quarters. That's how to you eights. would cut it up. It's into eights. Eights. Is it eights or sixes? I was never that good. At, uh, sorry, Mr Smith. He was my maths teacher. OK. Um, you're a great teacher. I never learned nothing. So there we go. I was in the back playing, uh, playing with the other mates. Look at that mm. cheesecake. Isn't that... Gorgeous. It is. And I've just got a nice little plate over here we're just going to pop it onto. Oh, looking great. I feel like I want to change my mind here and say I also love cheesecake. I love meringue, but I also love cheesecake. Wow. Well, I, I just want you to know that. I found another way to your heart. Now, I want you to fold that through with a spatula yes. just a little bit, just to soften it up. Okay. We call this a, a raspberry full. You know, okay. when you fold some... Raspberry through a little bit of cream. This is sour cream Beautiful. to give it a lovely flavour and it gives it that streakiness. Looking wonderful. And my favourite little thing, I always peel off a little bit of mint and bit stick that... Bit of freshness, that bit of green, love into it. there like that. Just pop that over. And then I always go up nice and high there, just a little bit wow. of icing sugar over the top. A little is bit. Is that screaming at you? Yeah, that's, it oh. is. That's a lot of icing sugar. Wow. It's like it's snow falling yes. on top of there. There we go. We're loving that. Beautiful. All right, let's have a little taste of that. There's one Thank spoon you, for you. Thank you, Richo. And a little Can sprinkle. I go anywhere? Just go. Rip into go. it. Go. Boom. There we go. I want yeah. this biscuit base, actually. I always go for the centre. I reckon that's the softest little piece mm. there. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Oh, look at you. That's really cheesy. Mm. Do you like the way the ricotta lightens it up? I do. It's not that heavy, is it? I love that you could put anything through this ritual. Anything at all. Just go to your fridge or your pantry and throw it through there. Wonderful. I'm going to give it a go. I hope so.